back to my channel. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. If you're an old subscriber and you've been watching all my videos, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It really helps my channel. I've just made a cup of coffee. We're going to go sit down and talk about some of the 2020 goals that me and Jamie had set for ourselves that obviously didn't pan out due to what's happening in the world right now. And I guess how we've kind of evolved from there and, you know, changed our idea on what we would like to do for the rest of 2020, because as we know, it has gone quite quickly. So you guys would have noticed actually one of my earlier videos that me and Jamie actually had a bunch of plans to travel to different countries. Amy wrote on our kitchen cupboards, which freaked the out of me until I realized that it was whiteboard marker. All the countries that we actually wrote down on a notepad earlier to plan to travel to in 2020 and 2021 until all this like world stuff started going on. In that video, I was also explaining the changes that were happening in the world. How we had to cancel our flights, accommodation, and Airbnb. Our honeymoon to Hawaii, which killed me. I was so damn excited for that trip. But at the same time, you know, I don't want to be one of those people that's like, everything happens for a reason, but you know, what's meant to be, will be. After that, we were like brainstorming, we're like what are some other places that we really wanted to go to on our list that is within our reach, you know, in Australia, because at the time our borders hadn't closed down. We came to the conclusion that we really wanted to go to Western Australia. Neither of us had been across the Nullarbor. We weighed up the options. It is obviously way faster to fly across from Queensland to Western Australia, uh, probably cheaper in terms of flights, but you know, we wanted to do it, you know, the road trip style and via four wheel drive as we always do. Yeah, we decided to do that. We have been looking at camper vans and pop-up tents for a while now. We've been to a few different camping spots, so I'm no stranger to camping at all. I love it. We have the best time every time we go. Towards the end of every trip, we always just say, should we stay another day? But obviously there's things to consider, like, you know, the dog sitter that we can't be selfish in that aspect. Anyway, so we're no strangers to camping. So we really wanted to travel across Australia and go to WA. We started doing our research, all the cities, and suburbs that we want to travel to along the coastline, all the camping spots, the hot tourist attractions that we want to go look at. Not last but least, the most important to Jamie, the full driving tracks. Was our plan, you know, and then obviously the borders closed down. Basically, with the borders closing down, it became a huge problem for us and obviously kind of like crushed our little travel dream. That obviously squashed our travel dreams, which was, you know, not fun to hear. So we'd been working out since the wedding, saving all our pennies and not spending money on any luxury items, knowing that this year was going to be our year of travel. That kind of sucked, but you know, it kind of killed us to see some um, list on the kitchen cupboard that all the places that we want to go to, um, which included the following. Number one was to go down to New South Wales to visit our good friends Ty and Amy, which, you know, we had the best time ever. We had a really good time staying down there with them. It was obviously Hawaii. That was supposed to be a month ago. That just didn't happen, obviously, because of what's happening in the world right now. I can't remember what number three was because it seems to be wiped off here. Number four was Cabo. We've always wanted to go to Mexico. Number five was Croatia. We wanted to do a sailing trip. Number six was the Philippines. I'm just not having any luck filming today. Hey. Number seven was Lake Powell and a few other places around America and Canada. Number eight was Bali. Just had to shut all the windows and doors. Boss! Mummy's filming. Um, number nine was Ibiza. It just always looks fun in the movies and the beaches look incredible. And number 10 was probably should be up the top, but the Great Barrier Reef. I would love to go. It is one of, you know, the world's natural wonders. Very popular tourist destination in Australia. It's also very expensive to go to. So, so our list has been revised. WA is definitely on the cards. We have already started compiling all our lists of things that we'll need to travel across the country. All our camping gear, we do already have a, a huge setup. We have camping boxes set up ready to go so that when we do go camping, it's all ready to go, like kitchen utensils, light poles, batwing light, 
gazebos, we got the swag. But yeah, so just like all the equipment that we need personally to travel is already set up in the garage. There are some things that we're missing off our list, which is what we're trying to do. We're trying to plan ahead of time and get all that prepared. When we are able to do it, we are prepared. So that is one of the things. We also want to go to either Ely Beach or Great Barrier Reef or the Whitsundays. Oh, that would be amazing. But all of this, you know, obviously is on contingency that, you know, the government open up the borders again. So until then, we'll be going camping in our local areas when they allow us to do so. As far as I know, the government has a three stage plan in place and it looks very promising. So yeah, fingers crossed for when all that happens, but that is our 2020 goal. Not that we don't already know, you know, how we are when we travel together. <laughs> they say that, you know, you get to know the person you're in a relationship with best when you travel on an airplane with them. <laughs> we went to Thailand in the first year of dating each other and I knew instantly how restless he can be on an airplane. He's almost the equivalent of a two-year-old toddler. He wriggles his legs a lot, which is annoying because he's six foot five lays across like all three chairs he'll put his legs across almost touching the other person on the, on the other side of me always gets the window seat and I have to load up the iPad with all his games ready to go so that his attention span is completely focused on that until he falls asleep and as soon as we get off the airplane he's fine like he just I think he just can't stand being confined in tight spaces when he's such a large person did I say large I mean like long he's such a long person <laughs> He's very tall and awkward and we are cheap so we fly economy so we cannot get long seats for long people so he's a long person trapped in a tiny seat if you know what I mean. Anyway, that is what our next plan is travel wise. I don't know when that will be because of the travel bans at the moment. The border restrictions are still closed. We're just gonna wait and see what happens there, but that is what's happening with us. We're very excited about it. We do not mind waiting until the borders open, you know, because obviously we want everyone to be healthy and safe. Preparing ourselves at this point in time. It is a, I think it's like a week long, you know, drive over to WA. So we wanna prepare ourselves, make sure that we have all the equipment needed in case we break down or we don't know where we're going, we're lost, or we need somewhere to stay. We just want to map our way there. It's very exciting. I will leave you guys with this one. I just wanted to follow up with that vlog because I actually had a few people DM me on Instagram and say, hey, what happened to Hawaii plans? Did you get a credit, get a refund? Did you cancel the trip? So yeah, we fully canceled the trip. We got a refund. That was good. So we got all that money back and yeah, ever since then we've just been saving our little tushes off. I hope that everyone enjoyed this vlog. Hopefully it gives you some insight as to what's happening travel-wise for me and Jamie this year or next year, whenever any of that happens. I hope that you guys had any travel plans in place, that they weren't completely ruined by the virus. Hopefully your spirit has not been crushed by what's been happening in the world right now and you keep pushing for those goals and keep continuing to strive for to travel in the future do what me and Jamie are doing and decide to travel around the country instead. Thanks so much for watching guys. I really do appreciate it. If you could like and comment on this video, comment a little aeroplane emoji. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, please subscribe. It really does help my channel grow. Okay guys, well I will see you in the next video. Bye!